guys, I'm Harriet and I'm one of the artists that works at the Hepworth Wakefield. Today I'm going to show you um, an activity that's based around natural assemblage. Assemblage is basically a collection. It's an artwork that's made by bringing things together that you find. We're going to be thinking about 2D, so things that are fairly flat, but also starting to move into thinking about 3D, so pieces that are a bit more sculptural. This morning I've been out collecting and gathering lots of natural objects. Um, so I've been out on a walk and found lots of different things, so I found some different twigs, um, I found a feather, some stones, lots of different wildflowers, so there's lots of things like daisies and dandelions around at the moment um, and some lovely grasses and leaves. So you might want to go out and collect some of your own nature, that might be from um, your garden, out on your street, it might be when you go to the park, um, you might just have an old bunch of flowers um, from the supermarket that you could use. So you can literally use anything that you find that's natural. So what we're going to do is we're going to start to create our own assemblages and we're going to use um, the verbs that an artist called Richard Serra wrote. So Richard Serra is an artist who is mainly working with sculpture but he also uses drawing and he wrote a verb list to help with his own work. So he talks about how drawing is a verb and then he often uses different verbs, so doing words basically, to inspire his sculptures. So we're going to use that list today and the first verb that we're going to use is to arrange. So I'm going to look at my natural objects and I'm going to think about different ways that I could arrange them to create um, an assemblage. So to start with I might just arrange them by colour, so I'm going to grab my collection of leaves um, and I'm going to very simply think about colour. So I've got some that are quite yellow, so I'll place them in one area. I've got some very green leaves, so I'm going to place them down. And there's some lovely red tones in these. So I've got my red, my yellow and my green. And I'm just going to think about arranging the leaves into those categories or also in between those categories as well. So some of them are kind of a mixture of yellow and red, so a bit browny orange or a bit yellow and green so they can go in the middle and that helps me to create a really nice simple arrangement that looks quite pleasing to the eye just based on colour. And then the next word we're going to do is the word to stack. So again, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can stack things. So I'm going to start with my stones and I'm simply going to start to stack those on my paper. And we're getting a little bit more 3D here. So this activity should help you to start thinking a bit about sculpture, thinking about the ways that you can build things up. Just move that one out so you can start to make a really simple sculpture just by stacking things on top of each other. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is create a piece that's a bit more mixed. So I'm going to create layers. So a stack of different layers of nature. So I'm going to start by laying my sticks out across my paper. And then I might start to bring some other things in. So I'm going to lay some grasses over the top in different layers. And then maybe bring some details, so things like the pine cones that will create, help to create a kind of multi-layered stack of different objects. And maybe have a little highlight with a couple of flowers in there as well. So I'd like you to respond to the word to stack with your objects and to create something that stacks. Um, and then also I'd like you to do one more piece that responds to a different verb or doing word. Once you've created a few different um, compositions, a few different arrangements or assemblages of your objects, you need to have a think about how to record these. So these are what I would call ephemeral artworks. So they're temporary, they're not permanent. Um, want, we've literally just laid things out and built things on top of each other, so at some point they're kind of going to disappear. Um, so we can think about how we want to make a record of these. So we could take photos of things. 
Um, you could also draw from things. You could look at week one and week two video and look at some of those drawing activities. One thing that you might want to do um, to help you to focus and, and to record things is to create a viewfinder. So I've just got an old piece of cardboard here. Um, you could use anything, you could use kind of magazine covers or bits of old post, um, anything that's a bit firmer. Um, and you're just going to create a simple kind of picture frame. So I'm going to fold my card in half. And where that folded edge is, I'm just going to cut into it and cut a little square or rectangle out of it. And I'm going to unfold that. And I've created a nice simple frame for myself and I can lay that over the top of my composition and help me to kind of focus in and frame things which I could then take a photo of or draw. So you can think about the arrangement of this composition. Do you want one thing to be the focus? So here those yellow flowers and those pine cones are kind of standing out. Um, or do you want to think about how things, is it quite a minimal composition? So is there just some little bits of brass in there? Are things sitting right in the middle of your frame or are things sitting to one side as well? So composition is all about how you lay out the frame of your image, what sits at the front, what's at the back. And then you could have a go at doing a simple drawing. This is one I did here earlier that had a pine cone at the center of it to show that focus. Thanks, enjoy. Thank you.